So, I live down here in the south. And this doesn't happen very often at all. But, uh, hey guys, it's snowing. You probably can't even see it. But it's snowing. Also, I'm freezing my tail off. I'm going inside. Oh! <gasps> This is what I think This is Great Adaptations. Guys, check out this whack box that got sent to me. What are you waiting for? Cash you later? There ain't nothing we can't deliver. Kiss me, I'm nuts. We're nuts about nuts. Warning yummy goodness inside. This is not yummy goodness. I mean, it's goodness, but not yummy goodness. What company has a time to doodle all over their boxes that there's nuts.com apparently has the time. This is weird. Great Adaptations. This is a 50 movie pack from Mill Creek here. It's a really cool set and the reason I, I, I wanted to check, I checked some of these 50 movie packs out is because I found this 50 movie pack at a thrift store recently. Gunslinger's classic 50 movie pack. You know, I want to talk a little bit about the differences here because this packaging looks great, but this is just so much more practical to watching the discs. In the Gunslinger's pack that we've got here, what you've got are these cardboard sleeves and a description of the, the films on each, uh, each side. It's a double-sided disc, two movies per side, but, uh, but what's really nice about this is that I can go through this pack and read the description of it, the title, you can see the runtime, you can just go through here and uh, yeah, browse this collection very easily and find what you want to watch. One weird thing though about this, it, it's this packaging here. This, this is packaged to look more like a VHS and so once you stick it up against DVDs it kind of sticks out a little bit. Great adaptations. This is packaged a little bit differently here. What I don't like is you only have t 10 discs and they're in these cardboard sleeves, which I don't like as well. I feel like it's much easier to scratch these. You have five films per disc. And all you have, you don't have descriptions or anything, all you have are the titles of those five films on each respective disc. It's not nearly as fun or interesting to browse through. It's much more difficult to, you know, pick something out. The packaging on this, I find so much so more superior. But here's the thing. With this box set, which I got for around $15, you get a digital code to redeem. Now, you guys can try to steal this code, but I've already used it, so it won't work. Ha. All 50 movies digitally. So these digital codes have to be redeemed on Spree, or uh, Movie Spree. It actually, it's really nice having them here digitally. You get to see the picture, the, which gives you kind of a feel for what, what these are. And you get a description. I mean, it's just so nice to have these films digitally. This is more than likely, if I'm gonna watch one of these 50 movies, I'm gonna go to it digitally rather than on the disc. But this is what's really interesting to me. Movie Spree has all of these 50 movie packs that you can buy. I was looking at all these 50 movie packs and I was like, oh man, I, can't, I need to, I'll slowly start collecting each one of these because it's just a lot of bang for your buck. They have all these 50 movie packs on sale for $2.99. So you can buy digitally with Spree these 50 movie packs for $2.99. You know, I'm torn. I mean, yeah, I am a physical movie collector. I love collecting physical movies. But the packaging of these 50 movie packs is in such a way that when I buy them, I almost am buying them for the digital because that's where I'm gonna be watching them more often than not. It's so much cheaper just to pick them up here digitally for, for three bucks a piece, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And then if I find them in thrift stores or whatever, I might pick them up. But it's just interesting. 
Also, a whole new world of classic cinema has just been opened to me. And uh, I can't wait to get to start watching some of these. I just added 100 movies into my, my collection, essentially. And I got a lot of watching to do. All right, guys, so I got a lot of classic cinema to start watching. So I'm going to get to that. Thanks for watching. And if you would, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Do all that jazz. And as always, I love you awesome nerds. I'll see you in the next one. We're out. Skrr.